Hey, thanks for joining in to our Dirty Influencers series. Jesus was not afraid to get dirty. He was willing to be in just the the muck of stuff. And he loved all people. He got his hands dirty by loving people and broke the rules. And it caused there to be a lot of trolls in his life. Like they were stalking him, like trying to trip him up to see what he was doing wrong. And so in today's message, we are going to talk about that. We're going to talk about trolls. We're going to talk about how uh, one of our own influencers here at West, Joshua Pettit, has uh, faced trolls. And, and the work that Josh is doing uh, in the world by raising awareness for Alzheimer's. And it's just, it's a powerful story. I really think you're going to benefit from today's message. Here with me is probably, I would say, the along with Adam, the longest uh, West member ever. Josh and I worked together at Williamson's Chapel. Yeah. He volunteered and was all in coming on board at West. He is by far the longest staff member we've had. So uh, tell us about yourself, Josh, and uh, just tell us about yourself in general, your life, and then we'll dive into the topic gotcha. for today. Uh, yeah, I've been at West prior to when we were West, uh, was part of the launch and got to serve on staff doing worship production and other various things through the years. Um, I, my parents that are in their mid-80s live with me, and my mother has end-stage Alzheimer's. Um, so we started kind of a journey of, of sharing their lives. Like most people I share, I've always shared what I do on social media and I've always included their antics. Um, and so the latest uh, her situation with my mother and Alzheimer's has kind of been able to draw some attention with people that are in similar situations. Cool. I want us to come back to um, Betty's presence online because Betty had a presence <laughs> online long before Facebook and TikTok was Pop, we're popular, so I want us to talk about that a little later. Because of the topic today, so one of the things that Jesus dealt with in his ministry were trolls. Uh, we've read about it the last couple of weeks in the messages that we've been sharing, how the religious leaders or the scholars or whatever, they would be trying to trip him up because they didn't like the things that he was teaching. He was turning their understanding of what it meant to be a follower of God upside down. And the kingdom of God that he was ushering in, it did not look like any kingdom that they expected. They wanted a ruler that was going to come in and kick butt of the Roman Empire. And that's just not what Jesus did. He came in, he made everything be about love. And that was the kingdom of God. And the kingdom of heaven was love here and love that would be eternal and unending. And so he had these trolls. And in today's society, it just reminded me when I was prepping for this message, it reminded me of the stuff that Josh lives through. I don't like to get on social media. We've talked about this. Yeah. Like I could not know what's going on in your life. But um, I've tried to make myself log in like once every two to three days uh, because it messes with my head. Like, yeah. why didn't people like my posts? You know, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And then I logged in and I saw a post that you had um, about your mom and like the nasty comments that you had <laughs> underneath. I was just shocked. I had no idea that you even had that. And so that's when I reached out and said, hey, um, could we do a message on trolls? For one thing, for us to learn maybe how to be kind to right. one another, and for another thing to bring even more awareness to the disease that your mom suffers uh -huh. from, and so many right. others suffer from, and then uh, just have a basic overview of like how we're called to live in such a way that we're not negative presence in people's lives, but a positive presence. Right, so right. start by telling us, because this is important in your story, start by telling us like who you are, like what do you do for a living and give, I want you to give the breadth of that because um, it's a lot. Like you work harder, I do believe, than anybody else I know. Uh, you, I've known you for at least 15 years, yeah. um, 13 and a half or 14 and a half here actively at West. And some of the trolls complain about your working. So I want you to tell us in detail, like what you do. 
I uh, primarily am a web developer and computer programmer, program complex websites, um, solutions that aren't necessarily available outside of the box, like our bash registration system, that, that type of stuff, um, video production, social media, marketing, um, kind of all in those, those avenues. And how many companies do you work for? Uh, four or five large ones, but there's lots of other smaller clients that are usually like one us. and done type of thing. <laughs> well, there's, there's some we that are... We are a small yeah, client. <laughs> there's some that are one and done, like I may build a website for somebody and that's it, but then there's others that I work with on an ongoing basis. Right, right. One of the things that I've always loved about Josh, when I joke that we are a small client, we are a small client because we pay Josh like a fourth of what he could, <laughs> or probably a fifth of what he would be a billable rate for a company, but because Josh loves God and Josh loves all people and Josh loves West, he has given for 13 and a half years his time at the rate that we pay all staff and has never complained about that, has always been so generous. And so in the time that I've known Josh, I mean, like, I mean, one week he'll be traveling to Vegas to work for his clients there. Another week he's like knee deep in redoing a an operation system for a company here in Cornelius. I mean, he's he's truly one of the busiest people I've ever met. And so that comes into play when you look at some of your trolls. But um, tell us, before we get into that, tell us about your mom's journey um, with her health. So uh, about 10 years ago, she, was, uh, she began to have memory issues, forgetting things, repeating stories, um, things like that. She had some other health concerns at the time, some cancer, uh, lung cancer, kidney cancer. So we, we didn't really address the memory issues right away, although we suspected something was up. So after we dealt with lung cancer and kidney cancer and a couple of other surgeries she had along the way, hip replacement, things like that, um, we, we had her evaluated by a neurologist and she was already mild to severe of Alzheimer's. Wow. So if you look back to when we first saw symptoms, we're about 10 years in oh. on that on that disease. Wait, is that a long time? That's that's a long time. I've heard and read that typically three to five years after diagnosis is um, a lot of people with Alzheimer's die of other things. They die of pneumonia. They die of urinary tract infections or some, some other kind of infection. Um, so we kind of do a good job, I think, in keeping her healthy over long. Oh my or, gosh, overall. Yeah. So we have, we have prolonged that. But that's an average for people. Some don't live that long and some live many, many years. Tell us about the progression of, of what that has been like. Um, because early on, I mean, Betty used to be able to come to church, right. you know, tell us about that. Yeah, she had, you know, early on, it was just really repeating stories and forgetting things, not really remembering where we're going or what's going on. And, and she would just ask us a lot of repeated questions that progresses into uh, forgetting people, forgetting time and and. Uh, date, we noticed like one day she was cutting a pie and the way you cut a pie is you go to circle down the center or mm -hmm. straight down the center and cut it in, and it was just being cut in ways you would never imagine. And so their brain gets, forgets things and scrambles enough that odd things like that um, make sense to them. Uh, that progresses to kind of forgetting how to toilet, how to take care of yourself, how to um, do certain things we're kind of at the phase now where she's still kind of feeding herself, although it's a struggle. You know, it's more like you're going backwards like a toddler with a spoon and food that's easy to scoop up. Um, but she's forgetting how to position her feet and get out of a chair and into a chair properly or on and off the toilet or in and out of the shower. Things like that are, you, you know, you have to say, put your hand here. Getting in the car is the most complex task because there's a lot of different hand placement, where your foot goes first, where how you move your hips, and those basic things are memories that are being lost. Okay. One day, or it was actually a Sunday night, I try to log into Facebook on Sunday nights, and you were on a cruise. And again, like I can't keep up with my own calendar, <laughs> so I don't really look at the West calendar. Dawn and Lane and y'all tell me where I need to go and do. And so I'd forgotten that you were on a cruise and I opened it up and you were sitting there working and you had said to all my haters or something <laughs> like that, right. you said to all my haters, look, I work 24 seven um, because I'm a web developer and problems come up. And, you know, so yeah, I'm on a cruise ship, but I'm also working. And in that moment, I had such, I don't know if pity, not, that sounds like such a crappy word, but um, 
I just felt so bad for you because like for, like I said, 14 and a half, 15 years, I've watched you work all the time. And like we do this thing called the Back to School Bash. Josh is the treasurer of the nonprofit Inspire Our Children, which is a huge job when it comes bash time. What the Back to School Bash is, it's something that West leads with other community partners and other churches through a nonprofit. Last year, we supplied over 1,250 kids with a new pair of tennis shoes, backpack, school supplies. It's a huge, huge endeavor. Like right now, I already dread it. I mean, I love it, but <laughs> I dread coming. it. I'm like, I Bash don't want to. I don't want to have a board meeting, but we have to, and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> and and so, like, uh, I've known Josh for all these years, and I know that. Like what he said, he designed a website for the bash. Like you can't do in WordPress, you know, yeah. like you have to write code and those things are expensive and he did it for free and we've given it away. We've given it away to three or four other systems now that use yeah. the website. Like, so his good that he brings into the world is not just a little, it is magnified and multiplied and on your post that night, people were just slamming you. <laughs> and um, so tell us a little, or a lot, whatever's therapeutic for right. you, but um, tell us about some of the things that people say to you. Yeah, I mean, because you, when social media, you only see that one minute video. So that's the interesting thing to learn is that you're only seeing just a snippet of their life. So of course you're going to put your best on social media. Of course you're going to put the nice restaurant you're at or, right. or the nice view you have on the cruise ship, but they don't see the other um, 23 and uh, 59 minutes of the day um, that you know, you're working all the time or you have a job. I, I've never had a, I, not since a teenager have I had a job where you clocked in and you worked at a place and when you were done, you were done. Building websites, running servers, things go wrong at all hours and you need to be available. Um, I have the flexibility and uh, I'm fortunate to be able to be self-employed and be my own boss in that realm. But that also means there's not a team behind me backing me up. Right. So I have had servers break on Christmas Day. I have had those things happen and you have to get the laptop out. The good news is with technology today, it's even easier than it was with smartphones and, and laptops and things to do it from wherever. But you have to be available. Um, we were on a retreat once in Mexico, and I think I took the bus to meet others at the beach, uh, and I, I had to turn around and go back because right. I, I got text, and I, I have a time limit of what I need to respond to for a certain client. Yeah, yeah. 